Hello friends, I'm Chevy. Welcome to The Shed. I'm on vacation this week, so I pre-recorded these episodes just so you could have some content. And while I'm gone and I can't read the comments, I thought this would be a perfect time to share with you my opinions on some controversial topics. The controversial topic I picked today was assisted suicide. Assisted suicide is simply the ability for a doctor to help you kill yourself in a peaceful, uh, non-violent way. And I suffer from major depressive disorder as well as generalized anxiety disorder, and I take medication for that. We've talked about this quite a few times on the show. If you watch my video about my grandfather's watch, I'll link it. Um, you will hear a little bit about my family history with depression, my father's history with depression. I have tried many different medications. I've tried exercise and therapy and shock therapy, tons of stuff. And I still suffer from depression. Now, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager and my hormones were going absolutely crazy, I was suicidal. I just didn't want to be a part of this anymore. I felt overwhelmed by the world. And at that time, I would have welcomed dying. Currently, in my late 30s, I have two children. I have not had suicidal thoughts since my early teenage years, period. I still suffer severe depression, but I don't have suicidal thoughts. I've never felt overwhelmed by the world. It's always been something that I could tackle. That being said, I associate very deeply with the feeling of overwhelming dread, with the feeling of it's it's simply better for me to just cease existing than to continue fighting. And I am all for assisted suicide. Reason is, if somebody wants to die, and somebody is more or less committed to the idea of dying, they're going to do it whether we help them or not. And if we don't help them, we have to clean up. Whether it is my grandfather who ended his life with a shotgun and somebody literally had to clean him up. Or whether it is somebody who throws themselves in front of a car and now that driver is permanently scarred for the rest of their life. That car has to be totaled or repaired. Uh, whether somebody throws themselves off of a bridge and we now have to send out rescue crews to retrieve their body. All of that crap we shouldn't have to deal with. And assisted suicide is a way for that person who is completely committed to the idea of dying to do it in a dignified manner. And let's be honest, to be easily disposed of. That's what they want anyway. They don't want to be a burden on other people. That's the entire reason they've made the decision to have assisted suicide. Now, that being said, I also believe that it should be it shouldn't be as easy as going to the doctor and saying, I want to die, will you please kill me? And the doc goes, yeah, sure, how about 3.30? Does that work for you? And then we give you an injection. Shouldn't be like that ever. I believe that assisted suicide should be very similar to uh, transgender people wanting to have a gender swap. There should be um, a psychological study. There should be counseling. There should be whatever the patient is willing to try to make sure that this is their decision. There should be some sort of a waiting period. Like, okay, you've got a week. But that period of time should not be stressful on the person. It shouldn't be, you have a week, I hope you can survive that long. It should be more like, you have a week, I really want you to think about this. You, you know, don't go back to work. Uh, here's a place to stay, that sort of thing, so that they can be monitored. And we need to make sure that they know that the decision they are making is final. It's literally the final solution. And we should try to help them out of that situation. I am not for people lining up at the doctor's office to be killed. That's not okay. And as a person who has been on that precipice and has been talked down from that precipice, pre preface, you know what I'm trying to say precipice, I don't feel like forcing our view of the world on somebody who doesn't see it. It's a very difficult thing to understand unless you've been in that frame of mind. And once you've been in that frame of mind, it's a very difficult thing to come back from. Trust me, standing on the bridge is one of the hardest things you've ever done in your life. And once you've done it, there's, it it's, it's not easy to come back from that. So making sure that the person is making the decision that they want to make, making sure that they are in the right frame of mind to make that decision and then assisting them, I'm all for it. I really am. 
I hope that nobody who watches this program ever has to feel that way. And I hope that if you do, you will first reach out to the friends and family around you. And if that doesn't work, reach out to me and I will talk you through the pros and the cons of whatever it is you're about to do. But please, please, please don't go out of this world of your own volition without seriously sitting down and thinking about it. And that's where the doctor comes in. It's not just assisted suicide. It's assisted compassionate suicide. That's what I believe in. And if somebody finds compassion in the doctor that they've gone to to kill them, then I guarantee you there's more people in that person's life than they are aware of that cares very deeply about them and would not want them to make that decision. So we should have a vetting process in place for these people before we decide to go ahead and let them in their lives. That's what I've got. Thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing. Don't forget to share. I will see you tomorrow.